Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 1 Mathematics Chapter 3 Squares, Square Roots, Cube and Cube Roots. In this chapter, you will learn 3.1 squares and square root, 3.2 cubes and cube roots. Three point one squares and square root. Perfect square. Perfect square is a number made by squaring a whole number. For example, two squared is two repeated multiply for two times. Three squared is three repeated multiply for two times. Four squared is four repeated multiply for two times. Five squared is five repeated multiply for two times. Determine whether a number is a perfect square. We can use the method of prime factorization to determine whether a number is a perfect square. In this method, if the prime factors can be grouped into two identical groups, then the number is a perfect square. Example, determine whether each of the following numbers is a perfect square. A 36, B 54. Solution A. 36 can be divided by 4 and 9, 4 can be further divided by 2 and 2, while 9 can be further divided by 3 and 3. 36 equals 2 times 3, times 2 times 3. These prime factors can be grouped into two identical groups. Thus, 36 is a perfect square. B, 54 can be divided by 6 and 9, 6 can be further divided by 2 and 3, while 9 can be further divided by 3 and 3. 54 equals 2 times 3, times 3, times 3. These prime factors cannot be grouped into two identical groups. Thus, 54 is not a perfect square. Relationship between squares and square roots. 3 squared equals 3 times 3 equals 9, square root of 9 equals 3. Determine the square of a number. Example, find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. Solution, a 6 squared equals 6 times 6 equals 36. b 3 over 4 squared equals 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 equals 9 over 16. C negative 0.5 squared equals negative 0.5 times negative 0.5 equals 0.25. Determine the square root of a number. Example, find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. Solution, a square root of 64 equals square root of 8 times 8 equals 8 b 441 equals 3 times 3 times 7 times 7 equals 3 times 7 times 3 times 7 equals 21 times 21 square root 441 equals square root 21 times 21 equals 21 example Find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. Solution, a square root of 4 over 25 equals square root of 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 equals square root of 2 over 5 square equals 2 over 5. B square root of 2 and 7 over 9 equals square root of 25 over 9 equals square root of 5 over 3 times 5 over 3 equals square root of 5 over 3 square equals 5 over 3 c square root of 0 0.36 equals square root of 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 equals square root of 0 0.6 square equals 0 0.6 example Calculate the value of each of the following by using a calculator and give your answer correct to two decimal places. 
Solution A square root 89 equals 9.43 in two decimal places b square root 154.7 equals 12.44 in two decimal places c square root of 6 and 2 over 7 equals 2.51 in two decimal places. Estimate the square and square root of a number. If we do not have a calculator, and want to roughly know the value, we estimate, example, estimate the value of a 27.5 squared, b square root of 54. Solution a, 27.5 is between 20 and 30. 27.5 squared is between 20 squared and 30 squared. 27.5 squared is between 400 and 900. Thus, 27.5 squared approximate to 900. B, 54 is between perfect squares 49 and 64. Square root of 54 is between square root of 49 and square root of 64. That is, square root of 54 is between 7 and 8. Thus, square root of 54 approximate to 7. Generalization can be made when two square roots are multiplied. The product of two equal square root numbers is the number itself, that is, square root of a times square root of a equals a. For instance, square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals 2. The product of two different square root numbers is the square root of the product of the two numbers, that is, square root of a times square root of b equals square root of a b. For instance, square root of 2 times square root of 3 equals square root of 2 times 3 equals square root of 6. 3.2 cubes and cube roots. Perfect cube. Perfect cube is a number made by multiplying a whole number three times. For example, 2 cubed is 2 repeated multiply for three times. 3 cubed is 3 repeated multiply for three times. Determine whether a number is a perfect cube. We can also use the method of prime factorization to determine whether a number is a perfect cube. In this method, if the prime factors can be grouped into three identical groups, then the number is a perfect cube. Example, determine whether each of the following numbers is a perfect cube. A, 64, B, 240. Solution a, 64 can be divided by 8 times 8, 8 can be further divided by 4 and 2. And then 4 can be divided by 2 and 2, 64 equals 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. These prime factors can be grouped into three identical groups. Thus, 64 is a perfect cube. B, 240 can be divided by 12 and 20, 12 can be divided by 4 and 3, and 20 can be divided by 4 and 5, 4 can be further divided by 2 and 2, 240 equals 2 times 2, times 3, times 2, times 2, times 5. Since these prime factors cannot be grouped into three identical groups, thus, 240 is not a perfect cube. Relationship between cubes and cube roots. 3 cubed equals 3 times 3, times 3, equals 27. Cube root of 27 equals 3. Determine the cube of a number. Example, find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. Solution, a, 4 cubed equals 4 times 4, 
times 4 equals 64. B 0.2 cubed equals 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 equals 0.008. C negative 3 fifths cubed equals negative 3 fifths times negative 3 fifths times negative 3 fifths equals negative 27 125. Example Find the value of each of the following using a calculator. Solution A 18 cubed equals 5832 B negative 4 and 1 over 2 cubed equals negative 91 and 1 over 8 C negative 6.3 cubed equals negative 250.047 determine the cube root of a number example Find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. Solution A cube root of 64 equals cube root of 4 times 4 times 4 equals cube root of 4 cubed equals 4 B 216 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 3 equals 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 equals 6 times 6 times 6 cube root of 216 equals cube root of 6 times 6 times 6 equals cube root of 6 cubed equals 6 example find the value of each of the following without using a calculator Solution A cube root of 0.027 equals cube root of 0.3 cubed equals 0.3 B cube root of negative 0.008 equals cube root of negative 0.2 cubed equals negative 0.2 Example find the value of each of the following without using a calculator Solution A cube root of 8 over 125 equals cube root of 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths equals cube root of 2 fifths cube equals 2 fifths B cube root of negative 81 over 192 simplify the fraction first equals cube root of negative 27 over 64 equals cube root of negative 3 quarters times negative 3 quarters times negative 3 quarters equals cube root of negative 3 quarters cubed equals negative 3 quarters c cube root of 3 and 3 eighths convert to improper fraction first equals cube root of 27 eighths equals cube root of 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 equals cube root of 3 over 2 cubed equals 3 over 2 equals 1 and 1 over 2 example calculate the value of each of the following by using a calculator give your answer correct to two decimal places solution a cube root of 24 equals 2.88 b cube root of negative 
equals negative 4.71 c cube root of negative 1 and 2 ninths equals negative 1.07 estimate the cube and cube root of a number if we do not have a calculator and want to roughly know the value we estimate example estimate the value of a 4.2 cube b cube root of 180 solution a 4.2 is between 4 and 5 4.2 cubed is between 4 cubed and 5 cubed. 4.2 cubed is between 64 and 125. Thus, 4.2 cubed is approximate to 64. B. 180 is between perfect cubes 125 and 216. Cube root of 180 is between cube root of 125 and cube root of 216. Cube root of 180 is between 5 and 6. Cube root of 180 is approximate to 6. The concept map of Form 1 Chapter 3 is as below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below. Thanks for watching.